the client desires to have this Disco Hotties Halloween costume copied onto a spectacular quality knit jersey for her fundraising gala featuring a disco theme. I'm going to show you how to do that by the end of this hot disco tune so that you can copy a dress anytime you like from now on. Coming up right now. Here it is, the actual costume. And it's a cute little thing as costumes go, but it's not very mm, great. It's a little on the cheesy side. Knit jersey. This hem needs to be extended. It's awfully short. We're gonna decrease the shoulders by two inches and the zipper's coming out. That's because we've discovered what with the V-neck, she can just pull it over her head. So why zip? Look at this sumptuous green fabric. The green is significant to the client. And you can find out why in the description below. Now that's an awful lot of stitching to have to undo, isn't it, to make pattern pieces? So I'm not going to. I'm gonna simply take my scissors, my magic gold scissors, and snip right alongside the seam very carefully. And just remember to add a quarter inch all the way around each piece when I lay it out on the new sumptuous green fabric. Or, even more boldly, lay out the dress entirely flat and snip through both layers. Now, get that zipper out. Get that facing off. Here they are, laid out on the new fabric. And look, the new pieces all cut and waiting to be sewn up. Let's go. Shoulder seams first, and I'm going to surge most of the seams. Now, the long back seam that will not have a zipper. Facing, complete with interfacing, all sewn together. Sewn on very carefully to the neck edge. Carefully sewn because we need that V-neck to be perfect. And what's going to aid in its perfection is if I snip down to the stitching, right there in the middle. Snip! As well as about six snips in the back. Now, that facing needs to be folded in, pinned down for spectacular top stitching. Pin, pin well so that you can stitch, stitch perfectly, like this. Is that not the best looking V? Yeah, I was very careful about it. Perfection, now onto the sleeve. Take the sleeve flounce or ruffle and match it up to the edge. It doesn't look like it'll fit, but it does. Find the center of both pieces, spread it out to the left, to the right, it fits. Sew it on, and once both sleeves are prepared, spread out the front and back pieces so that the shoulder seam is available to match up the center of the cap, like that. Make it fit. You've done this before. Pin and pin well. Out to the left, out to the right, Stitch it, baby. Both sleeves in, it's time to do the long seam from the sleeve flounce up to the armpit, through the body, and down to the hem. And that's what it looks like from bottom to top. We are complete except for hem at the sleeves and hem at the bottom. Now that's what I call complete. Our little miss is in the outfit, complete with green go-go boots. The sleeves are hemmed, the bottom is hemmed. And that's what an ecstatically happy client looks like. 
You can do this too anytime you want from now on. Good luck.